Well, it's Saturday. Time to get the Pontiac running. If it runs, we don't know. So I've removed the center of the steering wheel. Now I've got a nut to undo. And when I get the steering wheel off, then I've got to take the steering locking mechanism off. Then I've got to pull out the signal switch mechanism. And then I take out one more screw and the lock cylinder comes out. And then I can see if it starts. Hey, pass the wheel. It's my turn to drive. Well, now that we got that off, we got to get this little plastic cover off. It doesn't do anything. And that's your locking mechanism. And that little springy thing is the locker. So now we have to get off this locking ring by taking off that C-clip and then get the signal mechanism out of the way. So actually, the only difficult part is getting off that clip. Well, now the locking plate's off. Now I just gotta take out a few Phillips screws and pull back the signal switch mechanism. Auto theft 101. Yeah, now uh, we got this thing sort of hanging out of the way, our signal mechanism, and this is the one screw that we have to remove to get our lock cylinder out. Yep. There. There we go. Simple as that. You can buy these things at your automotive store between $20 and $25. Now you just need to stick a screwdriver in there and we can put a battery and some gas in and see what's going to happen. Oh, and actually this is the one that uses needle nose pliers, not a screwdriver. So, needle nose pliers instead. See? Okay, now we got to, uh, we don't, we didn't put any gas in the gas tank. We're just going to, before we spend any more time in this car, squirt some gas into the carburetor. If it fires up, well then we'll proceed to next stage to see uh, if the transmission's good and then we'll uh, get the whole thing going. We'll probably have to do a redneck gas tank system, of course, it's so rotten underneath. Yeah, this is good enough just to see if she'll fire. Here we go. First try. Battery connection problem. Uh oh. My bad. Ooh. A working power antenna. Ooh, it works. Cool. Here we go again. Battery connection. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. I think this thing sat for years and that was just like instant. Cool. Instant, yeah. Instant. Um Amazing, eh? Oh no wonder a bit of smoke. This is two stroke gas. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, one more try. 305 running on two-stroke gas. Yeah. Well, it's good for lubricating the cylinders after sitting all those years, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. just what we need. We don't yeah. have to take the spark plugs and squirt oil down them. Cool. Here we go again. He's a runner. Okay, now we'll proceed to plan B. Let's There's the power in. antenna. Uh, let me check how fast the oil's running out of that rusty pan. No, it's not even dripping, so it's probably a really slow leak. Yeah. Yeah. Give it to Chevy for firing up first try after all those years. This is the most rotten Chevy I've seen, even for up here. Yeah, look at that. Holy cow. If, you go, if we go driving through the puddles, we're going to have the mud and water flying up, bouncing off the hood and getting our ignition wires wet. You yeah. had to put a garbage bag over that or some duct tape. Duct tape works. I hope our rad uh, 
Red doesn't fall off, yeah. Red doesn't fall back into the fan. We might have to drill a hole here and wire it up forward. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm ready to get plan B and get this thing going. All the second steps. Okay. Here we go. Repair of the Pontiac Parisienne. Or as Dave likes to call it, the Caprice Parisienne or the the Chevy Pontiac. See, the tires were absolutely flat. They had no life in them. So we have to take the tires off. That's why she's sitting on the belly. And here comes Dave with his erection. Paul. Crunch. Are you filming my erection again? Absolutely. Yeah. And that's how we change tires here on the farm. It's not NASCAR, but it's the next best thing. I guess Dave must not be feeling too well because there's no beer around. Look at him play with his nuts. There we go. We now have a Pontiac Parisienne sitting on four full tires. As Dave hooks up his uh, redneck fuel line system, she'll be good to go. Now he has a soft off. You obviously didn't turn me on. I guess not. I just give you a soft off, don't I? Um, now, we're gonna, we actually fixed the fuel lines in this car now, and we uh, fixed the tires, and we squirted some gas in the car, and I'm sure it's gonna start up, and we're gonna see if we can actually make it drive for its very first time in many years. And I've actually got brake pressure, it might still have brakes. Here we go. <laughs> Oh well, more, oh, of the, more of the drama for the tube. <laughs> Try number two, take two, scene three. That was pretty sweet. Brake lights work and everything. Yeah. The backup light. Is just... Better get out of the way just in case. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Dramatic ending. It's got a positive end in it too.